So welcome back. We're in the last section of lesson 34, 34C, decomposing functions. Decomposing means breaking down or breaking apart. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break apart these functions. And so the problems look like this. It says find two functions, f and g, such that f of g is um, of x is equal to the square root of x squared plus 1. So I like to read this in my head where f with g inserted or f subbed with g because that's what's happening. You're taking g and you're putting it into f. Now there's a lot of different ways that you could interpret this. The easiest way to do that is to just look at everything that's in here as what is being substituted in. So you could easily say that f of x is equal to the square root of x. And what's substituted in for x is going to be g of x is equal to x squared plus 1. And what that literally, when you put this together like this, what that literally comes out as, this is going to be substituted in for this x. So it's going to look like the square root of x squared plus 1 because we put all of this value in for the x in the f, right? Because g is being substituted into the f. So that is the way that you would solve this problem. And that is the way that you would write your answer. You would say f of x is equal to the square root of x. And then g of x is what is substituted in that equation there. All right, I'm going to take that off. Because you would not put the parenthesis, you would just write the problem. So this is how you would solve that type of a problem. So let's try one more, 34.7. Let me erase this. Actually, I'm just going to clear the page. It'll be easier. So 34.7. And it is asking, let me just write it up here. Okay, so here's our problem. We're going to find F. That is what we're told to do. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the F of X and what it is equal to. So find f where g of x is equal to x squared plus 1. And f with g inserted as the x is 1 over x squared plus 2. So if g of x is x squared plus 2, I just need to look for that phrase or that expression and put an x there for f of x. So that means I would take one this whole x squared here out and put the x in. And that would go right there. So f of x is equal to 1 over x. There's only one solution there. That's all that's possible because of what g of x is equal to. It was just substituted in for the x in the f domain, or the f function, sorry. So those are pretty straightforward and fairly easy to see once you understand what you are looking for. Now, once you have this solved, you can always go back and make sure, okay, that this is what's right. So f of g with x is 1 over, and this is where the x is, but I want to substitute in my g value for the x, so that would be x squared plus 1. That matches, so this is correct, and that would be the way you could write in that answer. Okay, so super easy. It's just all about the logic and deconstructing this. There's not really any math. It's all about being able to take it apart and kind of go backwards, decompose it and unconstruct it. If you can do that, then you've got it whooped. All right, that's all we have for lesson 34. I'll see you in lesson 35.